Welcome back to Immaculate Wealth. All right, we're talking about minimalism. There's a surprising link between a clean closet and a fat bank account. The world's most successful people use minimalism to boost productivity. The hidden cost of clutter. Don't I know it. Your stuff might be sabotaging your success. Minimalism is the counterintuitive path to feeling richer than ever. One in, one out rule that could revolutionize your spending habits. Owning less can actually make you feel like you have more. Here's the minimalist mindset. It can skyrocket your savings rate. Decluttering your space and your mind is the key to clearer financial decisions. The unsuspected link between minimalism and entrepreneurial success. Living with less can lead to earning more. It's the minimalist guide to cutting expenses without feeling deprived. Your attachment to your stuff might be your biggest financial obstacle. I'm in the process of getting rid of even more stuff. I got rid of a lot of stuff a little while back. Now I need to go through and get rid of more stuff. All right, so some problems. It's an overwhelming burden to have too many possessions and financial obligations. This consumerism creates a cycle of debt and dissatisfaction. It takes a mental toll of clutter on decision making and productivity it takes a mental toll. Traditional budgeting often fails to address the root of overspending. Differentiating between needs and wants in a materialistic society. The fear of missing out leads to unnecessary purchases. Stress of maintaining and organizing excess possessions. Complex financial systems often lead to confusion and inaction. It's difficult focusing on long-term financial goals amid daily clutter. Attachment to these possessions can hinder career mobility and opportunities. The environmental and ethical concerns of excessive consumption. Pursuit of status through possessions often backfires. So, some solutions. Implement the Konkari method. Declutter by category, keeping only items that spark joy. 
This clarity often translates to more mindful spending habits. Adopt a capsule wardrobe. Streamline your closet to versatile, high-quality pieces. This reduces decision fatigue and curbs impulse clothing purchases. Practice the 30-day rule for purchases. Wait 30 days before buying non-essential items. This cooling off period often eliminates unnecessary spending. Embrace digital minimalism. Declutter your digital life by unsubscribing from promotional emails and limiting social media. This reduces exposure to advertising and fear of missing out. Create a minimalist budget. Focus on essential expenses and meaningful experiences rather than material possessions. This often leads to significant savings. Use the one in, one out rule. For every new item you bring in, remove one. This maintains equilibrium in your possessions and spending. Implement a no-spend challenge. Designate periods where you only spend on absolute necessities. This reset can break mindless spending habits. Adopt the halfway rule. When considering an upgrade, ask if you'd be satisfied with half the increase. This curbs lifestyle inflation. Practice gratitude journaling. Regularly write down what you're grateful for. This shifts focus from what you lack to what you have, reducing the urge to acquire more. Automate your finances. Set up automatic transfers for savings and investments. This simplifies your financial life and ensures consistent progress towards goals, your goals. Embrace experiences over things. Allocate more of your budget to meaningful experiences rather than material possessions. This often leads to a greater long-term satisfaction. This is what I prefer. I prefer the experiences. I don't really like stuff. Like I'm constantly trying to get rid of stuff. Throwing away things. like that sometimes I have trouble getting rid of stuff but right now I'm trying to clean house should do the same regularly review and simplify schedule monthly minimalism check-ins to reassess your possessions and financial commitments continuously streamlining your life All right. So choose one area of your home to declutter this week using the KonMari method. And that's decluttering by category. 
keeping only the items that spark joy. Unsubscribe from five promotional emails to reduce shopping temptations. Start a 30-day no new clothes challenge and share your progress in the comments. Probably like me, you don't really buy new clothes that often. But maybe you're not like me and you buy new clothes every week. Create a list of 10 free or low cost experiences you'd enjoy and schedule one. Review your last month's expenses and identify three areas where you can cut back. Share your biggest takeaway from this video in the comments. Challenge a friend to join you in a weekend decluttering session. Start a gratitude journal and write three things you're grateful for daily. Set up one automatic transfer to your savings or investment account. Probably already done that. Identify one possession you can sell or donate this week. Create a minimalist budget focusing only on your true needs and values. Don't forget to check out our five-day money mindset course. Link in the description to further align your minimalist approach with your financial goals. All right. That's the pod. Silent Thrill out. We'll see you in the next one.